assuming that we're still going to cutscenes here, mm -hmm. uh, let me look for the mini fridge. Oh, you pulled up on uh, Amazon. Yeah. Regular mini. Or oh, okay, not a cutscene. Yeah, I guess not. Hurry to the sandlot! You're gonna be late. Stop looking at your phone and browsing for mini fridges. Regular mini fridge. Y you dinguses. You're, you're looking at like about two hundred bucks. So it's about a hundred dollars more for the clear door. Ah. But it looks snazzy, so I think that you get what you pay for it there. Okay. Oh, I found one that's like two thousand bucks. Oh yeah. If that is a mini fridge. I think that's a regular fridge. Really? Yeah. Maybe not. I just found it too. It just showed up on my end. Oh, no, that's a mini fridge, all right. Ooh. It's only 35 inches tall. And then, oh, wait a minute. About oh, 2000 successes for that. Even if cool. it looks cool. Mm. Pro okay, this one probably does have a glass window, but it looks kind of small. Yeah, it does. But I mean, do you, do you need a ton? I mean, I want like at least, you know, like uh, a mini fridge that can have like two racks, uh -huh. and then you know, there's space underneath that bottom rack. Right. Yeah. I think that's a good move. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Right? I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh wait, maybe. Probably something like this. Was this what you saw? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay, so 126 can. It's like 400 bucks. I think I might. Oh wait, there's 101 can for 329. It's not bad. That's not bad. Though I think I want to wait till like uh, I get through uh, our next milestone before you go get it. Yeah, just because you know that's when uh, that's when the overtime. overtime is. And uh, from what I'm hearing, there might also be some uh, voluntary overtime to do. Nice. So uh, if that's the case, hopefully I'll have the willpower to say, "Yeah, sign me up for." Remember, anytime you sign up for voluntary overtime, by the time it's time to perform said voluntary overtime, it's going to be the worst time to perform the said overtime. Really, like every anytime you volunteer for it, like getting out. So, to so it, voluntary like, overtime is worse than mandatory overtime. Yeah, yeah, because like the voluntary one, you'll like say, yeah, yeah, I can do it, and you're and you're feeling good in the moment, but then like you go to do it, and it's like, oh no, no like, oh my gosh, now now what do I got to do, right? Like like there's just like extra stuff. So, all right, it's funny though. Okay. It's time to do it. Uh, I mean, struggle. Struggle. Oh wait. Oh, I, I gotta. I gotta talk to this dude first to go over the rules. Gotta go over the rules card. You already know the rule. Oh, oh yeah. Wait. Th uh, wait. This was a voice I gave him. You already know the rules, but a refresher can't hurt. It's easy. You you've each got one hundred orbs. 100 beautiful, beautiful orbs. orbs. Attack to take away your opponent's orbs. Beautiful. That's all you have to do. Land a hit and your opponent will drop orbs. But if you're hit, you'll be the one losing orbs. So watch out. Just, just get the beautiful orb. That's all you need to do. Keep keep collecting the beautiful orbs. When the match is over, the participant with the most orbs win. When you're ready, go talk to the tournament promoter. He's in the ring. Okay, and now it is time to struggle. I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's do it. Time to tear it up. Now, I will say the first time we played through this, Tanner didn't die once. So, uh, I, I did it set, sir. Oh yeah, but yeah. Hey, <coughs> and then I shamelessly uh, closed the game and then reloaded it. It's time, it's time for redemption now. Yeah. That stuff go. I get a lot on my mind. Sorry, man. Wait, what am I sorry for? 
that you're about to get the snot beat out of you by a wiffle ball bat. That's exactly what it is. It's just like a, a pool floaty with a rod in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that just made me remember something. Uh, one of the earlier Simpsons episodes, uh -huh. this, this very well could have been uh, season one, where, uh, like, ooh, ouch. Okay, I might have to focus more than I talk. Ow! Okay, I've got all those beautiful orbs. Well, you're getting all the orbs. There you go. Oh, he's down. Oh, wait, no, you have to pick up the orbs. Yeah. Hey, I got all the beautiful got all the orbs. orbs. All 200 of them. I have all the beautiful orbs. And the winner is uh, there, there was a... Okay, I think it's season one of Simpsons. There was an episode where Homer goes to a work party at a Mr. Burns mansion, yeah. uh -huh. and he brings his family, like every uh, person at the nuclear plant uh -huh. does. Uh... And uh, while Homer's trying to be on, Homer is being on his best behavior. Uh, Marge, the kids get a little carried away, uh -huh. uh, and then uh, by the time like they leave the party, like Homer uh, wants to make a change in the family so they could have like I don't know like better habits or something. Uh -huh. And then he sees a commercial on uh, a TV at Moe's. It's like this uh, uh, this therapist of some kind who. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mountain Dew. Uh, wants to, like, provide a service to help improve the families. And so, mm -hmm. like, uh, Homer, like, sells the TV uh, and then, uh, you know, take takes that cash just Don't to, uh, uh, like, uh, take his family to this doctor. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, like, uh, at one point, like, they're all, like, uh... Okay, all right. <laughs> now I remember what I was going with this. Uh -huh. Like, I was about to say, like, the, uh, like, uh, the family's just, like, electrocuting each other. Mm -hmm. But before that, uh, the doctor passes out, like, uh, these, uh, you know, these whistle bats. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, these rods cover it with the with foam or whatever. And then, uh, Bart's like, this isn't really helping, but if you take the, the foam part off, uh, you could really do some damage with it. <laughs> then just, like, That's beat awesome. the crap. Out of everyone, the that's fantastic. But Vivi didn't even pick up the orbs. Uh, well, you could lose if your HP does drop to zero. Yeah, that's that's, true. that's what happened with me with Setzer in our uh, missing recording. Right. Huh? Take him out. I love how it's summertime, but everyone's wearing like sweats and coats and crap. I mean, like, it, uh, just looking at. Uh, the color palettes in town and the mm -hmm. fact that it's like always in the afternoon. Yeah. Kind of reminds you of autumn, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's true. It looks You're like right. Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby. Oh, I'm in third now? Yeah, I, 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 I can take it. I can take it. That, that's, uh, that's fine with me. Nice. All right. Oh, yo, I forgot my, I forgot, I forgot my drink. Just okay, like, you, you go ahead, grab right. your refreshments. Okay. I will... Uh, keep the game going because I want to try to get a little farther than we did last time. Okay, uh, VV, let's go. Keep it clean, fellas. And now the match you've been waiting for. Uh, I guess uh, anyone who's uh an expert in Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy. Anyone watching this, uh, is Vivi like a mix of uh, a traditional Final Fantasy character plus a new Kingdom Hearts character? As far as I'm aware of, like Vivi is considered as a, a black mage, and uh, from what I recall seeing any gameplay where Vivi came from, Vivi was just known as Black Mage, and that was it. Ok, 
Okay, collect all this beautiful orb. Oh, Phoebe! I got all your beautiful orb! Ow! Don't jab me! See, Phoebe, why can't you be like everybody else? Like, at the end of the match, like, they just stood still, and you didn't. You just kept attacking me. I mean, what the hell, Phoebe? Oh my goodness, it's just a bunch of zippers! Oh, I said that too soon. <laughs> Again? Again? I got your refreshment. Flashing lights on it. Ooh! It's patriotic. In this game, my mom's had this cup for like six years, and then she was gonna get rid of it. And I saw it in the garage. I'm like, "You're getting rid of a cup with a gl with a glowing ice cube?" No, oh, it's not a glowing ice cube. It's just a or oh no, the the part of the cup yeah. is what lights up. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, it's festive. Let's see. I, I think I mentioned this before. Mm -hmm. um, while I was in high school, there was one year. Uh, we went up to California Adventure, and they had the uh, electronica mm -hmm. theme going on. Yeah, where it was like an electronica party, whatever mm -hmm. it was. Um, and uh, yeah, near it's me. Uh, what you know, was uh, called Axel. Flynn's Arcade at the time. It, it was like a temporary space yeah. or something. But just outside that building, there was like this little. Uh, bar where you can get like martinis or alcohol there or something, but they also serve like lemonades to kids. Uh huh. It, it was just like in this this uh, Tron Legacy Cup, which means but uh, this lemonade also came with uh, like this ice cube where you could push the button and like it'll like uh, flash like lights or something. Yeah, I've seen and, those. Oh, and the uh, the cup itself can also glow in the dark. I like that. That's cool. This one is not quite that cool, but it's festive. I, I mean, like still, would, it's festive like you wouldn't believe. If if What's any silverware can like uh, have a party, yep. that, that's uh, pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's glowy. Number thirteen, Roxas, awesome. the Keyblade's chosen one. Okay, fine. You ask for it. All right, collect his orbs. Kidding. Joke's on you. I don't have any orbs. <gasps> That's more like it. Oh wait, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ow, that really hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, I blocked too early. Okay. Uh. Tear it up, you know, the weapons that he's holding are really great weapons, honestly. He probably ended up stabbing himself in the face a couple of times. Oh, well, I mean, I think after years of practice, like, he'll... Uh, get used to it. Okay, yeah. there, there is a, the HP ability. Oh, nice. Okay. Scan. Now I think uh, it's kind of like so. Uh, you know which uh, like from like huh? knights and dragons and like medieval times. You know which weapon I think is like one of the stupidest weapons. What's that? One of the like a, a ball and chain. This man. Oh, uh, the flail. Nonsense. Yeah. Do not like those. Roxas. At all. Let him deceive you. I just not not myself, even when uh, we got that ball and chain Roxas. from Zelda Twilight Roxas. Princess well, HD. <clears throat> by the way, go check out that playthrough. Check it out. Uh, where I also talk about this weird Coca-Cola gay dream. Nice. Remember that? That's Peter. awesome. Pence. <laughs> this is so bad. 
You caught my gay. You caught my gay. <laughs> All right. So, All right. I, I don't want to cross go, over go, PG thirteen, but watch that, it. but yeah, that it, 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 that that was a dream that I had and uh, huh? told. How did I get here? W what happened in that dream in full detail, or th to the best of my memory, because it was a dream, and you know sometimes you might forget what had happened, but but yeah, go check it out over on Late Game Night. Uh, Twilight Prin Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Check it out. Go watch it. But no, I don't, I don't like the ball and chain. Period. Or the flail. Uh, I feel like, okay, if you're going to have a weapon that's really heavy at the top and you can swing to hit people that are further away, why aren't you using an axe? Second of all, if you miss, and if I stop right here, guess where that ball's going? It, yeah, it's going to come right back and hit you in the face. Yeah, it's going to hit and you. Or, and or elsewhere. Um, also... It's like, yeah, you're getting some momentum from swinging that, that chain around a couple times. But the thing is, you can generate just as much energy using a freaking axe. So drop your little ball and chain thing. It looks kind of funky. And pick up your axe. Well, contests are kind of like flipping a coin. Let's have a go at it, shall we? Keep it clean, right? No, I'm gonna hit you with a freaking, uh... I I'm gonna take the foam off my bat and take the foam beat, off. Beat the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I wonder... Because there's they make, uh, like, LARPing swords. I'm gonna check... Uh, live action roleplay? Yeah. Right? Did, did, I, did I say that right? Oh, yeah. They have, uh, foam ones. So they have the, the Master Sword. Caleb's got one of these. Yeah, you got... You got a frame for Christmas? Christmas? A few years ago. Yeah. But the, they have foam ones like that. That's pretty cool. I was thinking like duct tape with like padding on it or whatever. Let me win and I'll make it worth your while. But you know what? I always said I would have, I would like to try LARPing. As nerdy you, you, as it you is. would like to go to um um oh gosh, what what's uh what's it called? I Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's uh, it, it's not right. not really a medieval festival, but it's um, oh Renaissance fair, a Renaissance fair. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be down with that. I wear armor and everything. No, but like a Renaissance fair, that's like more like uh, like old timey stuff. But I'm talking like fantasy stuff. Like you have like elves and dragons and stuff. Right. We got all kinds of things. I mean, wouldn't they include that in a Renaissance fair? No. Uh, Oh, so do... it's like realistic Knights yeah, and Dragons. Yeah, they don't do, uh, like, the fantasy stuff. But I think... Oh, no, my beautiful orb! Beautiful orb. Um, I think, I, I think I'd have fun with it. There's a... Oh, so you know how last time we were, when we were recording, I was telling you about, um, uh, Dodgeball and, uh, Zoolander... And, uh, uh, yeah, when we were recording, uh, Cuphead and, uh -huh. Nier? Nier? I don't uh -huh. know how to pronounce that one. Yeah. Nier. Uh, Tommen? The, the, the one where you play as a robot lady. Oh, see, I killed him. Nice. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I killed a man today. I I did a good thing. Yeah, I think, um, but I watched those movies uh, yesterday. Because I told you, like I said, I was I was like working from home, mm -hmm. so I said put them on my phone while I was uh, while I was working. Pretty awesome. We did that all right. Mm. Wait, I'm sorry, I spaced out. Uh, you were like listening to like medieval music or watching no, like shows. No, I was, like, watching uh, dodgeball and. Uh, oh, dodgeball. Okay, yeah, I, I got that mixed up. My bad. Watched uh, dodgeball. I watched uh, what's it called? Um, Zoolander, and then half of the second Zoolander. Still pretty awesome. Wake me up before you go go. And then, exactly. Uh, someone lights up uh, a cigarette yep. at a gas and station. Was <sighs> oh my gosh, so freaking magical. Love it. Like you know, too much to ask. Like, and I and I was watching. It, I was like, you know what? These movies are like so stinking funny, just for funny's sake. Like, and that was something that, that I really enjoyed. It was like there was no political agenda, there was no BS. Like, where like, hey, we're gonna make a statement with this movie. Mm -hmm. All it was was, hey, this is gonna be a funny movie. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
And I watched it, I was like, I love this movie. As promised. Like, uh, uh Dodgeball is awesome. I, I loved it. I forgot about Steve the Pirate. One more treasure for us to share. Steve the Pirate? Yeah. Is that a character in one of the movies? Yeah, he's like this guy that's convinced that he's a pirate. Whoa. He's our. <laughs> he's like, so he's. Dresses and talks just like a pirate. Yar! I dress myself and talk like a pirate just so I can avoid uh, the troubling issues in my life. That's ex essentially it, yes. That's accurate. Kyrie, wait up! Yeah, it's freaking awesome. I, I was like, watch, I was like, ah. Oh. It, it's kind of nice. Like, you. So nowadays you watch you watch movies, any movie pretty much, hey, and there's like some kind of like political BS island? with it. The pe uh, like, yeah, yeah, like I meant to ask, like, how how much is would be too much for a political statement? Sorry. Any and all. Uh, yeah, because in a movie. So, uh, is there an example that we could pro you that you could safely talk about on game night? Riku? Yeah. I wonder whatever happened to him. Oh, yes. I sure miss him. Yes, yes. So, uh, Star Wars, Last Jedi, we'll right? Uh, that was number sure. eight? eight correct, eight. yes. So, middle of the newest trilogy. Okay. So, political political statement. So, you know when uh, Finn and Rose or whatever uh, go to uh, that casino world or whatever? Yeah. They're, and that's what I'm talking about. It's like, oh no, we're just funding war and it's making all these guys rich. Basically saying, so oh, getting myself, rich is a bad thing. I'm not going to the Something like that. Them, or saying that, that, like, uh, uh, sure? like, oh, what, like paying money at a casino is like or, no, funding the war no, stuff? No, or with that, and that they're just gambling the stuff that they're making from the war because there were people there who were making money from the Empire side as well as from, or from the First Order side, people who were making money from the Rebel no side, way. right? And so, like, happen? just going in and being like, oh, yeah, you know, who like... Like, uh, oh, wait, 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 so winning money at a casino would be bad no, no, because no, no, that's no. how you get being, the... Being rich is bad. Hmm. It's saying saying Please. that and saying the political inequality is I'm a bad racist. thing. Right. Okay. Which I disagree with. But can you tell me yeah, yeah, it's just, if you're at a casino, it's just a matter of you don't uh, whether if you're lucky, if you win big or right, not. Right, right, and it's... And, it's, and, uh, and like, if you're okay. rich, I guess like, I give you, a hint. you could do whatever the hell you want with money and... If you so mm -hmm. choose to do good with it, then mm -hmm. that's yeah. good. How is that yeah. evil? If but, but you, the like, way, like yeah, like how, the whole the whole dialogue is like, oh, I can't believe these okay? guys have so much money, and they can do so much good in the world. It's like no, 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 in the universe or whatever. Like there's and I don't know. That's that's the one that comes to mind immediately because it's like it's that whole thing. You remember there was that uh, um, thing that. It, uh, that the people were saying these like anti-fascist people they're like they're like kill the rich in, right? Star, like, in like, Star Wars or in general no in general like just like like political like upheaval or whatever people are pissed off the billionaires have so much money uh I guess I'm not too familiar with the term fascist but is that like a Nazi? No, 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 no Nazis or are anti-Nazi? No, 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 Nazis are nat national socialists so they believe that you should be single-minded in taking in uh, serving your country a letter. and no one other. No other that, that's the definition of a, fa a fa fascist. Of a, of a Nazi, really, is kind of the, the definition of their Okay, not shit. So, so a fascist would be would be someone who is, a fascist is actually someone who's like a dictator. Something important. So, like someone who would would make would make decisions for the people. Oh, okay. But like uh, people, like like with that movie when it came out, it's like he will um, say and here's and here's here's my beef with that, right? Right. So Making what? an obscene amount of money is an accomplishment. It's well done. Yeah. It's well done. And then these people, they say, oh, but uh, they these people owe something to society or to the rest of us. They could do X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. I don't know if you, you saw that, but it's there was uh, that senator that tweeted, or the uh, a representative from the UN that said that, uh, that tweeted so something that Elon happen? Musk could solve world hunger with X amount of dollars. Right, and so there's been that, that rumor that that could happen. But, like, uh, his whole thing was, is like, well, who's going to do that? 
right? No, man. Are, are, are you going to do it? If, you, if I give you, and he, he even said, he's she like, you like show me no exactly how every cent of that is going to fix world hunger, and I will sign a check today. And, those aligned with and they couldn't do it. Because people well, started. What, to Elon me. Musk asked, like. No, no the, the, because the or, or, representative from the UN oh, said. Oh, so, so this guy asked, like, if uh, Elon Musk showed him, like, where things. each dollar no, would no, go. No, no, no. If, if the individual who said that Elon Musk could solve world hunger with a certain amount of billions of dollars, uh, that he could solve world hunger, like, three, four times, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then Elon Musk said, <laughs> okay, if you show me where every cent of this money is going to go and how it's that would work. I'll sign you the check today. Okay, I, I, because, I think I get it. Because you're not, because uh, government is incredibly good at mismanaging funds. Like, they're no, really right. good at not spending your it's money the soon. correct way. You can't seriously get really good at it. But um, when you start Money putting political tipped. stuff like that in a movie, it's supposed to just be entertaining. Right, right. And trying to like get that. some whole like, like, us. oh, you he know, these rich back. people are bad. Kind of return, and that that's something that really no, bothers me. Do. Is like, it's just kind of propaganda-ish. Yeah, exactly. Like, rich people are bad. Right. Poor people are good. Right. Inher inherent middle class inherent. people are kind of meh meh I just and like the thing is is it's like you know what and especially and people make insinuations that America uh, is that way it's like America is the only place in the world where we could have like literally 90% of the world's wealthiest people and it's because and you know, there, there's some people that make their money because people, because they inherited it. Like, look at the uh, right. Waltons, right? Like, I'll do it the, uh, the Waltons. Want. Yeah, yeah. They they make up, like, I think of the, the top ten richest people in the world. They're, like, the top four. They're, in, they're like, four, four people in there. They inherited it from their dad. He was the guy who invented Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The Waltons invented Walmart. Their dad did it. Oh. Then his kids Walton, each, each own. Walmart. Right, right. Oh. And they, they own parts of, of Walmart. Right, and, and of course, Sam's Club. But, like, and like, uh, like they, they inherited it, but you, and here's and here's another stick. So, but which parts um, I, I like the argument because uh, people got mad at Donald Trump because he said he got a small, small loan of a million dollars from his dad. And he said, said those exact words. I got a small loan of a million dollars and I did this, that, and the other. How many people would be able to take one million dollars and turn it into billions. Multiply that one little investment in the scheme of things by literally thousands. Only three days left. Taking for that one million dollars so and turning it into billions of dollars. But we agreed we That's a lot of today. money. Yeah. Like like a hundred million. I fell off the a thousand tomorrow, millions is you one be billion. Here if you did. And he has five of them. Man, that was a close so one. So multiplying that million dollars by five thousand times. <sighs> okay, already. When was the last time I took a dollar and turned it over into five thousand dollars? Stupid independent study. Uh, so, not that I would know. I've been able to do that. Yet. Still working on that. Yeah, but like, and then people Maybe are like, "Oh, if I had a million dollars, that's like no." That's happening to me. I think most people you know, with a million dollars are squander it. The guys that. That's why so many people lose the lot. Like when the lottery lose, why? like use it all up in whatevers, but. You know, I don't know, but like that—that that was just one instance, the like the where I say, like, right? uh, it was so well, tomorrow, refreshing watching these movies. The they they came out on. in like 2005, 2004, right? Oh, uh, which, which movies? All the uh, Dodgeball. Uh, actually, I'm oh, uh, you're, you're implying check. that like movies back then, like they weren't so they, political. They, yeah, they, they, didn't have they, a, they were just stories. They didn't have political BS in them. Like, you had a good guy, you had a bad guy. You had struggle on one side, you, and, and that was it. And you got like a really weird subplot that yeah. can affect the main story right. later down the road. And it's fun. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna. Let's find okay, out. you look that up. I'm gonna read dialogue I gotta here. Do the thing. <laughs>